Well, day four of the first Ashes test begins this morning and England appears in a good position to at least force a draw in Brisbane. Mark Butcher led the fight back with his first century against Australia, well supported by Nasser Hussain and Graham Thorpe. The tourists four for 2.99 at Stumps. Here's how the BBC saw the day's play. Nasser Hussein hardly looked in trouble as he and Butcher carried on where they'd left off the night before. His only full stroke was his downfall, the thinnest of edges to Healy, and he was gone for 59. Alex Stewart never settled, almost immediately offering a sharp chance to short leg. The England captain made it much easier for Kasparovitz, blasting one straight at him when only on eight. Would you believe it? England were apparently in terrible trouble as Butcher played on soon after. But umpire Hare called a no ball. Butcher fully embraced his luck, going on to make a century. His timing impeccable. These are about the first runs he's made on tour. It was Mark Waugh who sprung the trap to dismiss him for 116. Oh, it's got him! What a catch! Graham Thorpe, however, ensured England didn't falter, smashing his half-century before the weather broke. Bad light and then torrential rain saw play suspended early. The boys have worked very, very hard, and uh, I think we can definitely save the game. It's gonna, there's not a lot of time left in it now, for two days for, to get a win out of it, but you, know, you never know. Much, though, now depends on whether... First test. After Glenn McGarr ripped through the England bat, Slater helped himself to a century and Langer hit 74 to give the home side a commanding 343 run lead. Leith Mulligan reports. Queensland, stormy one day, Mark Ramprakash was loving the transformation. Was it straight? It's four. Glenn McGrath was out to make sure Graham Thorpe didn't bask in the sun too long. Uh, well, it's taken a long time. Out for 77, England 5 for 315. He wasn't the only one to get a feel for McGrath's short ones. And that is another bit of good thinking. Ramprakash settled in, carving out 50 soon enough. Croft took a liking to the loose ones. Those online were something else. Got him! Got through him! Good change! That got McGrath going, disappointing Darren Goff further. LBW. Adam Mullally also gone for a duck. McGrath finished off England with another. Here's five wickets today coming for just 16 runs. Already 110 in front, That's Michael Slater went in search of an outright win. There's four more just over going. Mark more. Taylor was looking for answers. Mark Taylor got him! It's gone for a duck, a rare duck. I think. His first test duck in Australia. With the support of Justin Langer, Slater continued his push. A half century off just 56 balls. A hundred in a hurry also. There it is. That is a brilliant hundred. Hugs and kisses all round. Fraser kissed Slater goodbye on 113. Got him. Langer got some loft off Croft and said goodbye also. Gone for 74. Taylor signalling 400 might be declaration point. A bit of urging going on from one of our commentators, I think. The war twins at the crease and looking capable of doing just that. Leith Mulligan, National 9 News. And we can tell you that Mark Taylor has just declared.